Alright, okay, welcome back to another episode here in our W2K19 Universe Mode. I'm, of course, Tom here on the Bad Wrestling Channel. And making his way to the ring, it is the Heartbreak Kid, the SmackDown General Manager, Shawn Michaels. Now, he he he, he said, uh, he's been saying all day backstage that he has a few announcements he wants to make. And thus, he's going to make them right here tonight in front of everybody in the WWE Universe. So let's see what Shawn Michaels has to say. Welcome, everybody, to an exciting edition of Friday Night Smackdown. Before I get started with tonight's matches, I have a few things I want to address about SummerSlam. It has come to my attention that Daniel Bryan is begging for a match against our Intercontinental Champion, Bray Wyatt. So, out of respect towards him, I have decided to give him an opportunity at the title against Bray Wyatt at SummerSlam. Speaking of matches against the Wyatt family, the Bar have requested their own match against the Wyatt family for a shot at the tag team titles once again. Now, I believe that the Bar are two of the greatest professional wrestlers in the world, so I decided to grant them their rematch for the tag team titles at SummerSlam. But what about tonight? Well, coming up next, we will see Charlotte. Face off against Carmella in a number one contenders match for Shayna Baszler's women's title. Well, ladies and gentlemen, Shawn Michaels making huge announcements about SummerSlam regarding the Intercontinental title, the tag team titles, and the women's title. That number one contenders match is coming up next. However, one title he hasn't talked about is the world heavyweight title, Samoa Joe being the most recent challenger for Aleister Black's World Heavyweight title, interrupting the Heartbreak Kid, and Samoa Joe looks a little pissed off, to be honest. What does he have to say? Sean, I will say this once. You know exactly what I want. I want another match against Aleister Black at SummerSlam for the World Heavyweight title. Well, Joe, you already got a shot at Aleister Black, and you lost. So at SummerSlam, you're not going to fight for the World Heavyweight title. The winner of tonight's main event will. Oh, it's Samoa Joe, look at this, what the hell? Oh my god. Shawn Michaels, our general manager, just got laid out by Samoa Joe. And oh god, Samoa Joe, oh no, no, no. Powerbomb connecting. Referee, what are you doing? Oh, come on. Well, Samoa Joe, he's had an, a history of attacking general managers. He did the same thing in 2K18 on Monday Night Raw, and it looks like he's no different here on SmackDown. What in the hell is he doing? He's got him right there. Oh, Insiguri to our general manager. Samoa Joe threatening our general manager and then making up on that threat. You're going for a punch. However, Shawn Michaels... Trying to fight back here. Super kick connects by Shawn Michaels. Shawn Michaels, our general manager, picking him up again. Okay, it looks like he's not done with this brawl, but neither is Samoa Joe. Kicks him in the face. And Joe now picking up Shawn Michaels. Okay, we just started this episode, and already Samoa Joe is wreaking havoc. Come on. Cocaine a clutch on the outside. Ladies and gentlemen. And now throws him off. What in the hell? Samoa Joe, come on, I thought you were... Why can't you just be done with this? Okay, you made your point. You want a shot at the title. We've, you've made your point. Samoa Joe bringing him up the stage, up the ramp. What in the hell is he doing? I'm not too sure. Okay, now, oh god, what the... What in the... What in the world? What in the world? Oh my god, picking up Shawn Michaels on the outside. Oh my god. Dropping him on his neck and on his back. And Samoa Joe proving his point to everybody on SmackDown. Well, Shawn Michaels uh, being helped in the back after that attack by Samoa Joe, that unneeded attack by Samoa Joe, not getting a shot. At the, at the World Heavyweight title at all. He's not getting that. I can yeah. Well, mainly because, you know, 
our, our main event is going to be a number one contenders match for the WWE title against Aleister Black, which should be interesting. But this is a number one contenders match for the SmackDown Women's Championship. And the first woman making her way to the ring fought Shayna Baszler recently and broke the game. They broke, they cut off the feed of, 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 of our programming. That's what they did. Okay, they were on the count, of, it was the count of nine. They were fighting in the crowd. One can only assume they tripped over, they accidentally stepped on, tripped over some wires. And then the, the broadcast broke. The broad, the broadcast, uh, worked. The application of the broadcast stopped working. It uh, froze, and then um, the screen went blue with an error code, and WW2K19. Anyways, th that that's Charlotte. That's Charlotte's thing. And sh tonight, Charlotte, maybe she'll break the game again. Who knows? I hope not. Uh, sh she's going to go one-on-one -on -one against Carmella, who, behind her, of course, she has recently hired the... The uses, she, she recently hired the protection agency, the police officers of the court of the law, the fashion police. So Carmella, along with the fashion police at her corner, are going to have to deal with the queen that she calls herself Charlotte. Okay, so will it be Miss Fabulous or will it be the queen to take on the SmackDown Women's Champion at SummerSlam as Charlotte immediately jumping out of the gate here with a clothesline. Fandango and Tyler Breeze in the corner of Carmella. Okay, these two know each other pretty. They, these two pretty much know each other. Okay, they've 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 met on several occasions in our universe mode as a drop kick connects there. And now Charlotte doing the strut. Okay, definitely. Just like her father, a a show off if you would. However, oh, kicks her in the stomach and again in the knee with the knee there to the abdomen. Charlotte, however, gets a big chop to the chest by Carmella. Carmella throws her down. Okay, ducks underneath into a single leg drop kick. Both these women want to go on to fight Shayna Baszler at SummerSlam to potentially win the SmackDown. Women's title, big elbow to the face there by Charlotte Flair. And Charlotte Flair showing off a little bit so far in this matchup. However, she definitely thinks highly of herself. She does believe she is one of the best, maybe the best SmackDown has to offer. But the one way to prove it is by winning the big belt, the big women's title. As Charlotte... Gets thrown across the ring, outside the ring. Carmella now showing off a bit as well. And now wait, wants Charlotte back into the ring, but Carmella as soon as she gets in. Okay, whipping her head on the bottom rope. Okay, hopefully she's still good. However, a dropkick there connects by Charlotte Flair on Carmella. Fandango and Tyler Breeze, of course, the fashion police watching on in support of Carmella, the one who hired their services. Oh, and a head, the head bouncing off of the top turnbuckle. As now an elbow connects there by Charlotte. And Charlotte now wanting Carmella to get up. As now a, oh god, big boot connecting. Typically she does the run and spear, changed her mind into the big boot. Okay, that's what it looked like she was about to do anyways. There's an elbow connects there. On Carmella once again. And now an elbow. Not an elbow. A knee to the face. Okay, elbows, knees, definitely same thing. Anyways. Carmella chopped to the chest again. As Carmella, however. Oh, look at this. Going for the submission hold. It looks like out of nowhere. Trying to tap out Charlotte Flair here. Will she be able to do it? I don't know, but Carmella... Apparently getting up, and then Charlotte gets out of it into a drop kick again. As now Carmella, smart idea, rolling to the outside. 
And then a double axe handle miss. However, catches her itself and then knees her in the stomach. As there you see Tyler Breeze looking on. And now look, look at this. Charlotte strutting over to Tyler Breeze knowing he can't do a damn thing right now. As Carmella gets kicked in the stomach. And Charlotte Flair looking for a here and it connects natural selection. Top of the head bouncing off the pave not the pavement, the 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 the, the, the mats. However, Finn Balor not Finn Balor, Fondango. Oh my god. Fondango. <laughs> my brain completely like exploded apparently in the past 30 seconds of not that I wasn't able to speak. Uh, Fondango stopping the count. However, a super kick miss catches her into, uh, a, I believe called an Oscar. Uh, an Oscar. I don't know. Whipping her head back on the mat, however, misses the knee. And then, oh, went to go for the super kick. Barely missed again. And Charlotte Flair catching her now. Connects with a Russian leg sweep. And Charlotte looking down, stomping on Carmella. Charlotte goes up to the top rope. Looks down at her here. Could be going for one of those famous moonsaults. Oh! Crash and burn landing on the knees. As Carmella kicks her in the stomach. And wait a minute. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Natural selection stealing Charlotte's finishing maneuver here on SmackDown. Potentially to get the win too. But a kick out there nonetheless. And Carmella now getting up here. Okay, Carmella trying to win by stealing Charlotte's maneuvers. And now face first, bouncing off the ground. And Carmella once again trying to go for the cover, but a kick out. Ladies and gentlemen, SmackDown Live first matchup here. Shawn Michaels earlier attacked over. Let's go for the spear and it connects. Okay, Shawn Michaels earlier attacked by Samoa Joe. A very uh, ferocious and pissed off Samoa Joe because he's not allowed in the WWE world title picture. However, maybe Charlotte will get herself in the SmackDown women's title picture going for the figure eight. And she's got it locked in here, Carmella. Will she tap out here, ladies and gentlemen, to the figure eight? Or will she get out of it? Not too sure, but it looks like she's pushing, and she gets out of it, punching the forehead there. This match still going on. However, right there, Carmella with a big arm drag, taking her down. However, Charlotte Flair with an elbow. And then elbow again. No, changes it into a kick to the stomach. That's Carmella jumping clothesline. Connects here on SmackDown. And Carmella going for the cover. And wait a minute. Trying to use some cheating tactics and Charlotte not having it. However, a kick to the stomach once again. And Carmella now, oh, reverses the elbow. And the truck, oh, God, hair whip again into the mat. And Charlotte... Down on the ground, Carmella once again pulling her to the ropes. Looks like she's going to go for it again. No, she's not. Changes her mind. It looked like she was going to go for the feet on the bottom rope thing. Maybe potentially saw the referee was paying more attention that time. As Carmella going for a maneuver here. However, an elbow to the face connects. And Charlotte kicking the stomach. And this looks like the perfect setup for her here. Natural selection connects. Natural selection by Charlotte on Carmella. The cover once again. And once again, Fondango getting into the matchup. And now, oh, Charlotte just punching Fondango. Jesus. Well, Fondango has to be, is being ejected. And Charlotte pissed off here tonight. As Carmella going for a maneuver here face first. And ladies and gentlemen, off the distraction by Fondango, off the, off the amazing right hand to a former tag team champion in Fondango. Trying to gain the victory here, but Charlotte now gets up 
Out of the head, out of the headlock style submission finishing hold. As Carmella once again rolls to the outside. Charlotte has to, Charlotte having to deal with the fashion police this entire time. On the outside. Now once again going back to their territory on the outside and Charlotte picking up Carmella. But Carmella reversing out of the power bomb, flips out of it. And Carmella rolls back into the ring. However, Charlotte catches her there, bouncing her head off the top rope. And Charlotte Flair back in control. The Queen now strutting around the ring. Maybe not the smartest idea here as we kick off this SmackDown episode with this huge matchup. Both women so desperately wanting to win here tonight. However, Carmella, look at this off the comeback sequence. Going for a roll-up pin. One, two, and no, only a two count there out of nowhere. And Charlotte now getting up. Carmella setting up potentially for the victory. Went to go for the super kick reverse. Went to go for another maneuver reverse there into an elbow. Carmella throwing her into the corner there. As now Charlotte, however, jumping over, grabbing her into a Hunakan Rana in the corner. And Charlotte just kipping up here, and clearly, there is some fire in her as a dropkick connects. Okay, getting out of the comeback sequence into a, into a roll-up pin. Looked like Carmella was about to get the beginning of the end for this matchup, but Carmella once again back on the attack, back on the offensive, back in a winning position here, going for it here. Super kick misses. Punch to the back of the head, reverse into an elbow. And Charlotte with an elbow to the to the head there by Carmella. Here on SmackDown. The cover. Both women want to go fight Shayna Baszler at SummerSlam. Both women want a shot at the SmackDown women's title. And both women desperately wants to leave the victor. However, drops her face forward. <clears throat> As Charlotte now might just tap out. To Carmella here tonight. Once again, however, Charlotte seems to have gotten out of that submission hold. Going for a maneuver there. Going for the super kick and it connects. Super kick connecting. And Carmella. No way. No way. Carmella. One. Two. Three. And Carmella. Defeating. The Queen here tonight in our first matchup. Shocking, shocking win out of nowhere. Okay, replays of her just trying to do the super kick. That's pretty funny. But like, over and over, a, a hard fought victory by Carmella. Carmella, may, maybe with a lot of help from the, the fashion police who she's hired, and that's why she's hired them to get the job done. And they helped her get the job done. Carmella defeats Charlotte Flair. He's, she's going to go on to fight at SummerSlam for the SmackDown Women's title against Shayna Baszler. Interesting stuff. Interesting match that's going to be as we move on to the main event. WWE World Heavyweight Championship uh, number one contenders matchup. Well, now that we know who's going to be fighting at SummerSlam... For the SmackDown Women's Championship, Carmella versus versus Shayna Baszler at SummerSlam. Who would have thought? Who would have thought at the beginning of this 2K19 uh, season of Universe Mode, we would be getting Carmella versus Shayna Baszler at SummerSlam. Very, uh, pretty interesting. Anyways, this is going to be, however, to determine who fights for the World Heavyweight title at SummerSlam. Alistair Black, the champion, watching this match with a close eye. Shot, uh, Samoa Joe, I can assume, pissed off that he's not in this matchup. And he definitely showed it by attacking our general manager earlier tonight in the beginning of our programming. And Finn Balor making his way to the ring. This is going to be a one-on-one, -on -one, number one contenders matchup. Shawn Michaels feels that Finn Balor deserves a shot at the World Heavyweight Championship, and I can only agree. Plus, Finn Balor, sound, Finn Balor versus Aleister Black sounds amazing. However, 
Alistair Black, he has been pretty undefeated in this new season of Universe Mode. And another man who is a dominating presence on SmackDown. This man, Braun Strowman, could be his toughest challenge yet. So will it be the, the technical and amazing match between Finn Balor and Aleister Black? The potential amazing match between the two? Or will it be the hardest challenge uh, 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 he could, uh, the, the Aleister Black could ever have with Braun Strowman? And remember, Braun Strowman is a former World Heavyweight Champion, okay? He knows. He's tasted the gold. Okay, the only reason he really lost last series is because, you know, he was kind of hired by our general manager, Bobby Roode, back then, to give him the title, which was stupid, I believe. Um, however, Braun Strowman, to take on Finn Balor here tonight. Okay, no hiring practices here tonight. It's Braun Strowman and Finn Balor. Finn Balor, however, kicks him in the stomach there. A knee to the stomach, and Braun Strowman gets an elbow to the face. Gets a kick to the stomach, however, Finn Balor does. Goes for a punch. Back and forth, we see these two fighting here tonight. As now Finn Balor getting choked out here by Braun Strowman. And Strowman now taunting to the crowd, going after Finn Balor again. Braun Strowman, a very... Dominating performer here in our series into a huge Samoan drop there by Braun Strowman. Strowman, the big man, gets an elbow to the stomach. However, a reversal into the elbow again and then crushes him there. Throws his whole body at him here tonight as Strowman, big splash connecting on Finn Balor. And Braun Strowman looking pretty good, okay, not giving Finn Balor any source of a momentum. However, Strowman picking up Finn Balor again, trying to tap out Finn Balor here. One of these men will leave number one contender, and Braun Strowman seems to be the man to do it. However, Finn Balor with a big suplex connecting. And what the hell? What the hell? Samoa Joe coming out here, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, okay. I'm not entirely sure what's happening. However, Braun Strowman, oh, with a clothesline to the back of the head. And, however, Samoa Joe coming into the ring after the clothesline to the back of the head and stopping this matchup. Samoa Joe, apparently it's a double disqualification, attacking both Braun Strowman and Finn Balor. If Samoa Joe can't be in this matchup against Aleister Black, I guess nobody can. Okay, a simple but effective action by by Samoa Joe there attacking both Braun Strowman and Finn Balor, and I I, I don't know I, I, who's going to be our number one contender going into SummerSlam. Who's going to be fighting Aleister Black? I have I have no idea what to make of the situation now. However, that's going to have to be the end of this episode here tonight. Okay, Braun Strowman and Finn Balor both. Double disqualification. Alistair Black goes on to fight, I'm not entirely sure, at SummerSlam. Okay, there's nobody he's fighting, apparently. As of now, Shawn Michaels laid out in, in you know, somewhere in the back um, after being attacked by Samoa Joe. And Samoa Joe seems to be the epicenter of all this chaos and havoc on our, on this episode of, two, of 2K19 Universe Mode. Of, of SmackDown, but that's gonna have to be the end of this episode here on our 2K19 Universe. If you guys like to put some know, hit the like button down below. Comment anything you want to comment, subscribe if you haven't already. But if you have, why not hit the bell to be notified of everything we do here on the Bad Wrestling channel? I am, of course, Dominic, and have a good day from Bad Wrestling. Boy, yo.